The first census was actually in 1790. It was part of the constitution and they did it by foot and horseback. The 2020 census, doing a survey of over 330 million people is a really tough problem. The census is foundational to our democracy. It affects $700 billion of federal funding for your communities, data that is used by nonprofits, businesses, researchers, and political representation. The way not to be represented is not to be counted. Lots of different minority groups are underrepresented in the census count by the census's own estimates. So every person not counted is a loss of $20,000 over the 10 years that the census is in effect. If you are not counted in the census and you use the hospital, you may have longer waits in the emergency room. If you're a parent, there may not be a seat for your child in preschool. If you drive on freeways, there may be more potholes because there's no funding for those road repairs. Community Connect Labs is a nonprofit software developer, and we help nonprofits and governments reach hard to count people. Like Amazon, we're obsessively focused on users and meeting our users where they are. The latest estimates are around 90% of the population has access to a cell phone. Cell phones have become indispensable ways for people of any income level to access services, to get jobs. With the AWS Imagine Grant, we're building several tools, including a chatbot, which we're calling a help desk that will provide confidential answers to census questions in multiple languages through multiple channels, including text messaging and other mobile messaging applications. For us, the census is really systems change work. We want government and service providers to see firsthand how using mobile messaging technology as part of their services is crucial in order to provide high quality services to the hardest to reach populations. Working with nonprofits and government on the Census 2020, we've hold ourselves to high standards for security. And with the help of AWS, we've been able to pass security assessments from governments, such as the state of Minnesota and others. And we've been able to really be able to do the work that we want to do. It's incredible to think that in 1790, that the government actually counted everyone by foot and by horseback in the first census. Today, obviously, there's way better tools in order to do outreach, and we're excited to help people fill out the first mostly digital census.